On KDKA Radio for many years, there was a nighttime program called Party Line. Hello, Party Line. On the party pretzel? That caribou wouldn't answer the pretzel. Ed and Wendy King hosted Party Line from 1951... Hello, Party Line. ...until 1971, when Ed King died. Wendy hesitated at first about doing a television interview, but then agreed. She said most of her Party Line stuff was up in her attic. Now, I should tell you that ordinarily, nobody over the age of 13 is allowed up in this attic. And to get there, you have to go through the vintage clothes closet. But here we go. Now, this place is filled with ghosts and ghoulies and things that go bump in the night. And I'll try to show you some of this stuff up here. Wendy has lots of boxes of old letters from listeners. Notes that include short stories and personal anecdotes about certain topics from the show. Heroes, memories of your father, school experiences over here, and meals. Boy, is there a lot of good stuff in this one. Your favorite meal. Oh, that makes me hungry thinking about it. The radio show that inspired all this writing is not easy to explain. Party Line was foremost a call-in show, but you never heard the callers. Hello, Party Line. Mm -hmm. All you heard was Ed and Wendy answering the phone, and they'd tell you what the caller's question or answer was. Mm -hmm. No, it isn't a type of fish. Thank you, though. Thank you. It was a party. It was not questions and answers. It was what you wanted to talk about. Speaking of favorite inventions, writes the lady from Elizabeth, Pennsylvania, let's not forget the safety pin. There were lots of subjects. Somebody wanted to know what that cream of tartar was for that she found on her spice shelf. She didn't know what you did with cream of tartar. Before it was over, we had 21 uses for cream of tartar. Every night, there was a special question called the pretzel. Our party pretzel tonight. As England is symbolized by the lion and France by the unicorn, the United States by the eagle, what creature symbolizes Canada? That's our party pretzel. I think it's kind of funny that the original telephone number, how many people remember this? It was Express 11038. People come up and wave and give me that number. I've never played it. Might recommend it. And a wolf now would not be the answer on our party pretzel. And one more item. I think over the years, we probably had about 40 different um, pretzel prizes. The best of all was the can opener, which survived to this day. A lot of people, including myself, I've worn off the lettering, but it's the best darn little can opener that ever was built. Hello, Party Line. Right on the pretzel, what's your name? Hello, Party Line. No, a butterfly or a lion, neither one. Actually, I wasn't on at first. I went in with Ed because it, he was working at night, and I just sat in the studio, and finally, I started talking for some reason, and it just lasted. I kept talking for 21 years. Well, Wendy, let's see if we can find some last-minute winners on the party pretzel, hmm? Hello, party line. Sure, guess away. That's what we're looking for, a last-minute winner. And after he was gone, I, I didn't want to broadcast without him. So that was the end of party line, 19... 71, November of 1971. You know what? Sometimes when I'm lonely, now that I've found out what loneliness is, I wish there were a party line. Well, we found a couple of last minute winners and I know lots more of you knew the beaver is the creature that is the national symbol of Canada but just weren't able to get through to us tonight. I hope you have better luck come tomorrow night. Then we'll have another party and hope you'll be on hand. Because uh, without you, there won't be us, and we would like to keep the whole party together. Boy, radio has changed. 
And not just the programs either.